What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy who is being there. Welcome to Who's Being There TV. Big favor, big abundance on today's episode. We're gonna be talking about Jeezy divorcing from his wife, Jenny May. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So the legendary snowman young Jeezy um is filed for divorce against his wife, Jenny May. Um now the two were married in about about two years ago. Um y'all don't know uh jenny may she was a talk show host i can't think of the name of the talk show i don't know if it's still you know on airing on air but she was a part of a talk show and uh you know jenny i mean uh jenny and jeezy they got married they were feeling each other and it was a great story a lot of i remember a lot of black women not liking that you know because jeezy chose a, a asian american woman but you know love is love man i'm one of them people like if he found love with with jenny may then i salute that and i wish them all the best right well now they didn't hit some turbulence and jeezy's actually one that's filing for divorce right so you know jeezy's saying that there was some you know differences in family values and you know that caused some you know irreparable differences right so now they going ahead and filing for divorce now i don't even really like you know speaking on nobody business you know especially not in a negative light um you know hopefully that's something they can heal i don't know you never know um i do understand that jeezy does have a prenup i believe in place so you know he protected his money which you should do you know when you're going into marriage because that's something that can happen um you know you, you you can't lose your you know you can't put yourself in a bad financial place you know if you uh marry the wrong person so he did right there you know i don't know exactly what the issues are but hopefully it's something they can resolve because at the end of the day if love was there you know we you i I'm, I'm always a big advocate of i want people to repair the love you feel what i'm saying so if it's there and they can repair it then hopefully they can repair it if not then you know they'll have joint custody of their little daughter and um you know they'll be in a good situation hopefully to co-parent you know what i'm saying without any toxicity or negativity you know what i'm saying and both going their separate ways because you know both of them are hard working successful good human beings you know what i mean so from the outside looking in right we don't really know the ins and outs i'm just saying from the outside looking in so you know um it's just one of them situations where man i mean right now most marriages end in divorce right you know majority marriages end in divorce then over long-term happiness right i mean in all honesty it's just in how people are so quick to get married man you gotta date somebody for three four five years really you know what i'm saying before you really know them in and out and you know what i mean you decide to get married and and take that next step to be together for the rest of y'all life that takes time that is not something that can happen in a short while you know what i mean some people i'm not saying it can't happen it's very rare for some people to just meet each other and be together for the rest of their life that's rare that's not the majority so you gotta follow the numbers most happy marriages are people who dated for a pretty considerable amount of time few years they know each other you know they've talked about and had discussions about you know things that they you know what's important to them family values how to parent you know financials you know they 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 talked about all these things right so because they talked about all these things you know they kind of understand you know what's what you know so um you know praying you know for the best for them and hopefully they're able to heal their situation man because i i really hate to hear about stuff like that but at the end of the day you know they are they different from what i hear from jenny may i mean no she doesn't sound like she understands anything culturally about the culture that jeezy come from and you know he might not all the way understand the culture that jenny may come from but the thing about it is they made it work right so if the love is there i hope they can repair it if not then you know i wish them the best on their journey man but this is one of them situations where it should teach all the men out there you know what i'm saying make sure you protect your assets you know what i'm saying you get that prenup in place you know and make sure that you're dealing with somebody who you know doesn't have bitter or toxic traits right because that can come back and bite you also as well praying for the best for everybody and you know hope it all works out man y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments man y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation with jenny may and jeezy man this the guy who is being her big favor big abundance don't forget to like share subscribe like share subscribe this the guy who is being her big favor big abundance i'm gone